In this problem, we have a simple beam with length of L of 10 meters and has a uniformly distributed load Q of 5 kN per meter of beam. We found the max moment in a previous video, which will be linked in the description and at the end of the video. We got a moment max of 62.5 kN meters. The beam is rectangular and has a height of 0.5 meters and a width of 0.3 meters. We want to find the max flexural stress which is the normal stress in the beam due to bending. So we have a load acting downwards on the beam, so the beam will be deflected downwards as pictured, with two moments counteracting each other as depicted. This case is denoted with positive moments. The moments counteract each other because there is no movement, so the moments must cancel each other out. The top section will be under compression, and the bottom section will be under tension. We can think in terms of change of length or strain on the exaggerated moment graphic. We can see here that there is an overall reduction of the length at the top, so it must be getting compressed and must be under compression. And the bottom is being elongated, so it must be being pulled apart and it must be under tension. The point on the beam where the compression force turns into tension force is the neutral axis. The neutral axis is the line or axis that runs horizontally and passes through the centroid when in a case of pure bending or no axial force on the beam. The centroid is the center of area for a cross section. This can be found for the desired shape by using calculus or looking it up by the internet or a table. For our shape, a rectangle, the neutral axis will pass through at the point halfway through the height of the beam. So the neutral axis will be h over 2 which is 0.25 meters in this case. The value for the distance from the neutral axis to the outermost fiber will be designated with the letter C and is at 0.25 meters away from the neutral axis. Now let's go over the formula for finding the flexural stress max. The equation is max moment times the C or distance from the neutral axis to the outermost fiber divided by the planar moment of inertia, which is abbreviated as I. You can use calculus to find the planar moment of inertia, or look up the value using Google or a table for the desired cross-sectional shape. Planar moment of inertia is the resistance for a certain shape to resist bending under a load. To better understand the planar moment of inertia, here's a ruler example where we first apply a force down with the flat side up, then we flip it to the thin side being up and apply a force. It is much harder to get it to bend with the thin side up. We haven't changed the amount of material, only the orientation of the material. The larger the planar moment of inertia, the more rigid it becomes. Plugging in all of our values into the formula, we get a max flexural stress of the beam of 5 million newtons per meter squared. That concludes this video. Hope you have earned a like, share, or subscription. If you enjoyed this video, you may enjoy one of these videos as well. Let me know how I'm doing in the comments down below. Thank you for watching.